May 17, 1987 was a somber day here at Naval Station Mayport. Today, 24 years later, the community came together to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Dexter Grissom. 37 bells for 37 seamen. It's representation of a loss still felt today. Never forget. Never forget. You think about it all the time. Um, it's, it, it, it's, it's a life-changing event. Second-class fire councilman Bill Morandi was on the USS Stark when it was struck by missiles. The first one had no effect, but the second one sent him straight into the Persian Gulf. It was hectic. It was very frightening. Um, I ended up uh, falling out of the hole inside the ship that the missile had made and floating in the uh, ocean for about uh, 11 and a half, 12 hours. Antonio Daniels. Each one of the fallen was called out by name this morning and honored with a wreath. That was followed by a song from local students, then a 21-gun salute and the playing of taps. Loved ones, even civilians, say it is the perfect way to honor the brave men who died for their country. Nice to remember that they still remember all the other men off the ship. I remember the freedoms that, uh, you know, these people have died for. Next year's memorial service will mark 25 years, meaning a lot of people are expected. The quarter century ceremony is already generating quite a buzz on Facebook. Reporting at Mayport, Erica Bennett, CBS 47 Action News.